Hello. Today I received my double spinner. So I'm going to go ahead and unpackage it and let's see what we got here. Pretty excited. Looks like the two rod holders. Four foam thingies. Two rod holder clips, I guess. Ooh. It comes with tools. Look, it doesn't usually come with that. So it's got its own uh, Phillips and the, I guess it's a hexagon wrench, maybe. I don't know. I'm not that great with tools. It has instructions. User's manual. Thank you for choosing our cup turner. Please read all instructions carefully before opening. So, I say let's not read it and just go for it. That's foam. So it looks like this is the base. Ooh, look. Get 30 to 50% off. Send message to at Nodway. Send message and get coupon automatically. Thank you for your purchase. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us. Follow us to get giveaways and discount. Hmm. Pretty interesting. This product is by Nodway. It is the tumbler spinner or whatever else you believe that you can make spin. Oh, this one's got measurements. That's cool. Can you guys see everything? No, it looks like I need to turn a little bit this way and maybe down some. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpackage this. I love the colors. It matches my um, my heat press. I recently got a heat press. It was on pre-sale from, I ordered it in January and I just got it last month. And so now I'm making it wait as long as I had to wait to, um, maybe we should read the instructions, huh? But that's the back. I know that because this is the front. Okay. So then this goes here. Oh, look at that. All right. So now I'm going to open this up. I don't know if you have one of these. This is basically just like a little dish. And it comes with a major magnet. Anytime I'm doing a project, I really try to use this because I have fumble fingers sometimes and I don't want to lose stuff so I just lay everything out here let's put all the screws over here all the bolts over there. I mean the yeah the bolts over there not the bolts the lug, lug nuts whatever they're called let's see what they're called Cup turning involves the use of two part epoxies, dyes, and additives. The operator must understand the hazards regarding the use and handling of these materials. Oh, well, that's not the instructions. Okay, fit the motor on the base by the screws. Use the spanner to fasten the M4 screws. Okay, so I guess this is called a spanner. We all learned something new today. And we're going to just go ahead and put these in. It is a quite tight spot there. I'm just going to go ahead and put them all and then tighten them in just a second. And I'll come back when I'm done with that. Okay, I'm back. And sorry if I'm breathing a little crazy because... This thing wasn't working out for me. It's almost like it's stripped. It wasn't catching it perfectly. So I got my best friend, my needle nose pliers. And then let's see what's next. 
I believe it's this. Yes. Okay, so these, my blocking, sorry. So these are going to somehow, oh, uh, okay, let's go back to reading the instructions. Insert M4 screw from the bottom. Fasten the screws with nuts. Do it from the bottom. And fasten the screws with nuts. How does that make sense? Okay, let's just try it. Maybe these are just the pads. Um, There's no holes to screw that in. Oh, insert the screws from the bottom. Okay. Oh, I get it. And then put this on top of the screw, I guess. Or I guess it goes through it. Okay. So we're going to lay this down. And I guess we're supposed to insert screws here. I don't get it. But we'll try it. Because we're going to need a long one. Okay. Hmm. All right. I guess I get to, ooh, all right, maybe not that one. Let's see which size is for this. All right, it's definitely this. Because otherwise the other one is gonna fall through. That makes sense. We're getting it. It might take a minute, but we're getting it. All right. So does this need to be up or down in a certain position? Let's do it this way. You know, I just thought of a genius idea. And you're going to laugh at me. But it's okay. Hold on. Okay. Are you ready for the quick giggle? I I actually own one of these already that I bought used. So let's take a look to see. Where they put, oh, they're missing screws. Look at that. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. So it looks like the screw goes through the bottom and then the little nut and bolt part goes through the top. I get it now. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. I got that used and I received a, a major discount on it because I guess somebody bought it and had returned it. They didn't like it. Or maybe they just didn't know how to use it properly. And so they sent it back. And I want you to know, my new friends, that crafting while dyslexic is quite a challenge. Which is pretty funny, actually. Let's see if I can get that to stay. Let's stay. Oh, 
All right, let's see if we can get this little guy to hold it. Oh, I screw it in from the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to see that. Guess I should do it this way. Hold it here and use my strong hand to screw it in. All right, I'll be back when I'm done screwing all of these in so you guys can't laugh at me when I drop them. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I finally got that secured on both of them. It's a little bit more difficult than it seems if you have fat little fingers. Excuse my nails and hands. I've been doing a lot of yard work. But look. And it, it's, it's nice and stable, it seems. We'll see what happens when we actually turn it on. It's not loud. You know what would be really cool? Is if it had a reverse button. That would be really cool. Okay, so what's next? Next, it looks like we're going to insert the rods. Now, this is what actually help, helps to hold your tumblers. I've only done two tum well, three if you count that one that I don't like right there. Um, but I'm interested in doing them on video, so that way if anybody has suggestions for me, that they can help improve my game. Okay, so now this goes through here and goes through that little slot right there. And then these are much smaller bolts, so I'm gonna start over here. Oh, that turns, that's cool. I don't know why that would turn. If somebody knows why that would turn, can you tell me in the message section? So, doing this ah! with fumble fingers and dyslexia is quite a challenge, and I'm going to overcome it. You know why? Because I can, somehow, some way. Makes me stop. So I'm going to hold that with my finger while I turn this. And this is going to be really convenient because I am trying to get ready for Christmas. Well, not Christmas, that's not true, because I don't celebrate Christmas like that. I am trying to get ready for the fall farmer's market sales. I would like to bring tumblers to my community. And I've been there several times and I'm very excited. I also would like to do some some Christian t-shirts, maybe even a couple naughty t-shirts, not anything really crass, but you know. Especially because I still haven't used my heat press. I'm having an entanglement with it and it's winning so far. So I'm just putting this last screw in. Let me turn this so that I can get to the actual screw and tighten it in. This is such a hard angle to get to. Okay, that looks good. Well, we'll know if it falls off or not, right? So then, that's great because now I have, well, at least one extra screw 
Okay. So then this goes here. I'm just going to show you. But let's do this first. Let's find out. Because I'm going to be making two tumblers today. They've already been spray painted. One is cream and one is white. Let's see, do I go with this one inside? Oh yeah, I can. That's perfect. All right, so then you just make sure not to damage your foam because this is what you're going to be using. Although I do have an idea of that if something goes wrong with these, maybe I can use pool noodles to do it. See, there's one. And then let's do this one. And here's the second one. And it's perfect. So let's take a look. You ready? I'm excited! Yay! Ready, go. Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, this is not exciting. What's happening? Oh, there we go. There we go. They're both spinning. So... I am going to clean up this mess here and I'm going to get all the colors that I have and I would like for you to pick out three colors. One person pick out three colors. I need to do tonight. This is what I'm doing with my leftover epoxy. So I have this amazing, oh, let's get this out of here. And then I'll just put this right back here and it'll all stay there. So I have this amazing ink that I bought and it is supposed to be for epoxy and wood to blend it in together. But when I was doing the tumblers, I started noticing that I have a lot of leftover epoxy and I'm not a wasteful person. Like I don't throw many things away because they can always be repurposed. So here's my collection of alcohol ink. Some of them are still in the package and the only reason I haven't taken them out is because I kind of like the, the clusters that they're in. For instance, this one is latte, ginger, and caramel. And this one is pink sherbet, espresso, and pool. So this espresso with these three, rosewood, fiesta, and gumble or something like that. It's a kind of pink. But I'm thinking that those colors would make an amazing tumbler. Like, like you know, one of those where... Um, it looks like you're drinking swirled coffee from Starbucks. Or maybe if you've just gotten one of those iced coffees from the, the food trucks or wherever. That's kind of what I want it to look like. So this ink right here, it's called Trans Tint. A concentrated dye solution. Reduced to use as a, a dye stain. So I decided to put, if you buy one of these, make sure that you keep that rubber band on there because this thing, it is out of control. Use it in a controlled environment because it will stain. 
unless you have a hundred or 99% alcohol to clean it. So I put it in the epoxy that I had left over and I don't know if you can tell how pretty that truly is. It's going to go on a necklace, I think. Maybe some matching earrings. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so then I have eggplant, lettuce, and cranberry. Wait, didn't we already have cranberry? No. Okay. And then I have dandelion, coral, and pistachio. I've seen the dandelion. I saw a video of vinyl 421, I think it's called. I'm um, sorry, my dyslexia is kicking in. I can't remember, but it's, it's a really cool crafting station. And I saw him put one of these just, just by itself with this one over here called, uh, Wait, I know I bought it called Gunsmoke. Gunmetal, that's it, called Gunmetal. So the dandelion and the gunmetal together, it looked spectacular. I was pretty shocked because I was like, that's weird. Like a yellow and just a little blend of gray, but no, it looked really amazing. And then I have Meadow, Current, and Slate. I have turquoise, limonade, and Valencia. Oh, and there's the last one to the one that I want to do later, the teak wood, because that's the that's the real dark wood color. And then mermaid and indigo. I can't wait to see indigo. I love that color. And then I have rose gold, gunmetal, pink rose. Silver, aqua turquoise, blue, 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 um, gold, dore, navy blue, marine, medium pink, rose mayon, violet purple, black noir. And red rouge so th those are the colors that I have there and then okay I I'm not gonna say that I got a little bit obsessed with buying alcohol ink but I did Shh, don't tell my husband even though he's probably watching and then I ordered this off of Amazon I think it was like $10. I don't remember uh, who it was from, but if you want to know, you can ask and I'll go find the link for you. They're silicone cups for you to be able to use your, your epoxy that comes in two different steps. I'm using Amazing. My cousin does tumblers and she told me to use Amazing. And guess what? It's been really really amazing because it doesn't have bubbles and all of that. Um, I tried using it without the gloves, even though they tell you don't. And it was kind of gross. I didn't like the feeling, so I'll always use a glove from now on. Um, but that works really, really good. And then I have the mother load. Look at this. Ah, look at that. That's a lot of colors. So if you, so I'm going to pick one person and I'm going to make the colors that they want. So I can see what they look like because I love listening to other people's ideas. And then I'm going to try to do my own. My, well, not try. I'm going to do my own. Um, hopefully I'll get a response back today. 
If it's tomorrow, then it's going to have to wait a couple days because I am going to get a pain blocker spinal injection tomorrow. So I won't be available for maybe a couple days. So for